We've just sailed into Padang. It's a city on the mainland of Sumatra and I need to see a dentist. Check it out. This is all numb. I can't feel that at all. Kind of feeling good, you know, like I'm kind of feeling pretty good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Benita, that's Yosh, and this is A Sailor in the Making, Tallulah May. For six years now, we've been sailing around the world on our 40-foot sailboat, Nanji. Subscribe to the channel and join us as we sail through remote Indonesia. So there's quite a bit of weather on, on its way in this coming week, and even for just being in here in the bay, I feel like we're going to be boat bound from tonight onwards for potentially a week and so this afternoon we just want to go try to get all the supplies that we can get a heap of food get some fuel if we can and just do those few little runs because i do feel that we're going to be stuck on the boat for the next week and just to let us down for a nap it's the easiest time now is for me to disappear going to town which is still a 10 minute tender ride across the bay so it's just easiest to leave the ladies on board as <laughs> doing all this you have to do it all on a scooter uh, I go to a few different shops, carry jerry cans on a scooter. You know, there's a few things to this. It's not just uh, a simple, just pop down to the shops to get some fuel. Right. See, there's a couple of other boats doing the same thing as us, hiding away. Skip leg day, they say. These legs are getting to work out, squeezing these jerrys. trip so that took a couple of hours uh, we got 40 litres of fuel fresh food eggs carton of beer and yeah that's like three or four shops petrol station and a bank later all right now let's get back to nanji coming up, Josh and mine. Um, we're both Leos, we're both born in August and 
it's you know it's just around the corner so we normally don't buy presents we're not materialistic we just like to have a nice day and do something nice together on our birthdays um, but this time we decided to actually buy a present yeah, yeah. for each other and for and for ourselves or whatever <laughs> so um, it's literally just rocked up on the ferry we've been waiting for this for so long um, and so we're gonna go and pick it up and yeah, we're gonna go pick it up. Let's go do yeah, it. We can't get it. Oh, that's a delivery. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? <laughs> Big Tallulah. We've just sailed into Padang. It's uh, a city on the mainland of Sumatra and I need to see a dentist. There's not a lot of dentists around and not a lot of options. And so I figured I want to go to like the biggest city in the area to find the best dentist um, with the best equipment and the best hygiene and all of that sort of thing. So I've been recommended a dentist and so we're going to head there in about an hour's time. So we overnight sailed here dropped the pig about an hour ago and we've just gotten ready and we're about to head into land um, and my, my appointment's in about an hour's time so it's all very very busy. I think the hardest thing is that we haven't been to um, a main port like this for I don't know I'd say more than three months um, and so this is where you can sort of get everything so we would like to spend a little bit of time here to you know get things that we aren't able to get anywhere else but we have this weather coming and we just need to get the hell out of here as well we're gonna just basically do the bare minimum do everything that we can and then just keep moving because we don't want to get stuck here Backseat of a car driving around the city again. We sailed Nanji for 16 hours to get here to go to the dentist. Like, can you imagine driving a car for 16 hours to go to, to, go the, to the dentist? dentist? <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but much so needed. I'm so glad that I can get it done here because my tooth is so sore. So, I actually had some pretty major dental work done today and I'm kind of thinking like the plan was that we were going to go into town, get my tent to work done and then come back and sail 125 nautical miles before this bad hit weather hits. But there is potential that we might end up be bashing up wind for the last part of the 125 miles. But there's also potential that we won't and we'll make it and it will be great and awesome. We'll be so glad with our decision. So um, yeah, just not sure. I feel like I should be resting but then I also wouldn't mind doing that somewhere else and not here so and I'm also like kind of feeling good you know like I'm kind of feeling pretty good and then I'm like is that just the pain medication check it out this is all numb I can't feel that at all still Maybe I'll just wait for this to wear off, see how I feel. So this is a big chummy boat, which means like a squid boat. And uh, it's one of those big boats that we see out on the horizon with all lit up. It looks like a landing strip or something like that in the nighttime because there's just big rows of lights and they're like bright green or bright white lights. So squid boat, massive. 
We're in the bay called Taluk Bungus. It's a pretty busy bay. We've got a lot of fishing boats. All of the Navy boats and police boats have their boats here. Uh, we've got the squid boat and also the ferries come in here as well. And the surf charter boats generally operate from out of this bay. So it is a really busy area. There's a lot of guys that hang out in the bay looking for work. So um, if you want to get fuel, they can help you out. And also if you want to have a car as well. So it really helps to know a little bit of Indonesian so you can work out what you want. And so you don't get ripped off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone is just trying to make yeah. a buck. I know, sometimes you're like, whoa, 20 bucks to look after the tender for a few hours. Like, come yeah, on. Come on. <laughs> and there's also like a few little lies because everyone wants to get your fuel. Yeah. And so uh, they say at the pump, you know. It all, all pump always going up. <laughs> yeah, at the pump. So yesterday we paid 15,000, which is $1.50 a litre for, for diesel. Yeah. And yet today it's 20,000. Yeah, so, so like, yeah, no, nah, it's not, mate. <laughs> we just hired a car through one of these guys and we're just waiting for it to rock up any minute now. Hey, boys. To get into town, we have to go along this weaving road that kind of weaves around the mountains and the cliff sides. So we get like an awesome view of the ocean. It looks pretty calm out there, so I think that once we get all the food that we're getting today, we might set sail again. There's one particular shop here that we know of that sells a lot of like Australian foods and like things that we use used to grow, eating growing up and stuff. So um, we're gonna head there. It's called uh, Ching Toko Sudara. Ching Toko Sudara. And so I'm feeling like we might end up with some Tim Tams on the way home. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't say that. We just ran out of Vegemite and Promite, so... Yeah, we need some sort of mite. Yeah. If we get Tim Tams, or if we get a Cadbury chocolate. Oh my god, Cadbury chocolate, yeah. Salt and vinegar chips, oh. oh let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Probably end up with none of these. Well... It's closed. It's closed. Okay. It's like Wednesday. Tuesday. Um. <laughs> so any panas, huh? Panas? Any hari panas? This day hot. up the road that was quite similar so we ended up getting everything that we needed we found Tim Tams but that's the main important thing <laughs> Nanji's um, like full of all the things like pesto um, tomato sauce for pasta pasta all of the type kinds of Western things that um, you can't really find at other shops in Indonesia so we've stopped up we're we good are, to go we are loaded yeah. Nanji is proper stock now so we yeah. don't have to go we have to get fresh stuff for the next three months I reckon boys have got us some fuel, we've done the food run, um, been to the bank, and so I think we're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. we just got to drive back where we're ready to go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Exciting, so 100, we have 125 nautical miles sail ahead of us. Well, it's actually 300, mile, three, 300 to 350 miles, but we are able to break it up if we want to. So we'll just see how we go. 